Hi friends, this is your tech expert Neil and you are watching howisol.com. In this video we will see how to save your disk space when it's completely clogged up. This has happened several times to my computer and I imagine it will be happening to others also. When we use the computer, we download files and we forget about it and it slowly slowly piles up in the hard disk until you get this red red uh, hard disk signs which indicate they are almost full. This happens not only because of file downloaded by us but also the windows operating system updates itself. So in this video I will show you to using two simple tools how you can recover your disk space by removing all the junk. This applies for all windows versions. I am showing you on windows 10 but you can do the same thing in windows 7, 8. So let's get started. The first tool that we will be using to clear up this disk space issue is disk cleanup. So to access that tool, just go to your run and search for disk cleanup and you can open it up, we will open it up and then it will ask you which drive you want to clean up. So let's say we will go for the operating system drive that is the C drive. So we will click OK. It will start uh, its calculation okay now this is fine but we want to uh, clear up windows system files also so for that click on this button over here clean up system files it will ask for administrative privileges okay friends now we look at the individual files that it has categorized first is windows defender antivirus so in, you can read the description and you can select it if you want to delete this file just click on this checkbox to select it and this is important windows upgrade log files there will be one more entry on your disk cleanup window regarding windows update file that entry will be basically created when your system undergoes a major update like if you are switching from windows 8 to a windows 10 or if you are switching to a new version of windows 10 then that particular entry will be created and that entry basically is created so that you can reverse back the update so if your system is running fine with the latest updates and you do not think that you need to revert back to the previous update then you can delete that particular uh, windows update entry and that particular uh, update entry usually has got size in gigabytes so that's quite significant uh, file but once you clear it up you will no longer be able to uh, restore to your previous version of the windows installation if you are uh, fine with your current windows installation setup and you do not want in future to uh, revert back to a previous setup so you can select that in my case that particular entry is not being shown because i recently deleted all those update files and downloaded program files temporary internet files you can select that error and report direct x cache all this you can clear up safely without any issue delivery optimization file device driver packages downloads we'll look into this downloads folder <laughs> it's normally the issue in my case because Every time I install a program that I have downloaded from the internet, I just keep it over there and keeps piling it up. That's why so many files are piled up over here. Most people that is the case. So I will show you a neat software that will help you in identifying major files that are occupying the space and you can delete those files instead of deleting all the downloads file. Okay, so this is fine. So you can uncheck downloads with clearing the downloads folder using next tool recycle bin this can be cleared temporary files thumbnails thumbnails you can keep it because i find that doesn't make significant difference and it automatically regenerates quickly this is the thing and after selecting all the file that you would like to read click on ok i'll not be doing that because i've already done it once so after recovering space from this step we'll go to our next tool the next tool is called win dir stat this is a free tool i'll be giving the link in the video description down you can download it from there and what basically it does is it 
it scans the disk and gives you a visual graph kind of view of all the files depending on the location and the file size so I, i'll run it and then you will come to know what I, exactly i mean by that so I'll run it on in my downloads directory. You can run it on your individual drive also. As you can see, it will take some time depending on the size of your folder or directory. I'll pause the video here and I'll get back to you when it's completed. Okay, here we are. So this is the visual layout that I was speaking of. This is very interesting because this each blob, the bigger the blob size means the bigger the file size. And you can see over here this pink, uh, so many small, small blobs. And so this indicates a, a folder and subfolder directory. So this is very interesting. So you can find those clusters of files that are clogging up your hard disk and you can delete it easily. Let's say, for example, this huge clog. This is uh, some movie file that I created for my sister's marriage. So this is taking up a huge space. So you can directly pinpoint to the individual file that is taking up the huge file and delete those files that you do not require. I will be keeping this since I require this file. This graph makes it very very easy to find the files that are taking up large spaces. So you can delete by selecting, suppose if I select this, this is some audio book. So if I select this, then I can uh, click on this X icon over here. So this will completely delete the file. It will not go to your recycle bin. It will completely get deleted. So, and similarly, you can just select a file from this cluster. So you can see I selected this pink file and it's shown in the cluster uh, code project. So these small, small image files are individually quite uh, insignificant, but the number of files are quite large. So they are clogging up the entire disk using this representation you can find those files that you do not require anymore and you can just pinpoint it and delete it so these are two tools that i use quite regularly when my system disk space gets completely filled up i hope you like this video and you found it helpful if yes smack that like button and subscribe to our channel howisolve.com to watch more such informative and useful videos thanks for watching friends see you later bye